As flowers open up, bees start to go to work and do what they do best. They carry pollen grains from one flower to another variety. And there, when that pollen grain hits the stigma, it begins to germinate. And with that germination, a channel suddenly begins to form and it begins to grow downwards inside the flower. Now that pollen tube growth, which we call that channel, is vital because it helps take the male sperm from that pollen grain and it travels down inside the flower in this channel until it reaches the egg. Then we have successful fertilization. The development of a healthy pollen tube is so critical to be able to help influence nut set. So what goes into it? Calcium, boron, and zinc. Calcium and boron are like the rebar in a plant. They help improve cell wall integrity and cell wall strength. They help fortify it. Here's one way of thinking about it. If bricks are the plant cells, calcium, boron, along with pectin, those make up the mortar. And that's what helps hold those plant cells tightly together. Zinc is also important. It helps with synthesizing plant hormones like endoacetic acid that helps with making the cells of the pollen tube. It also helps create a long channel, which is important to be able to reach that egg. Unsuccessful pollen tube development results in a lack of fertilization or a lack in nut set potential. Out of all the flower parts that uh, have been created thus far, the stigma, the anthers, the style, the pollen grains, it's the pollen tube that is yet to be created. This is our first window of opportunity in our upcoming sprays during bloom. I hope this video provided some value to you and I'm wishing you all the best in this upcoming season. Good luck guys.